This is the preface to The Two Natures in the Child of God by E. W. Bullinger. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit, from John 3, 6. We hear much in the present day about what is called the teaching of Jesus, and an attempt is made to set it above and against the teaching of Paul, overlooking the fact that both the Gospels and Epistles are given by the inspiration of the very same Holy Spirit. Men talk thus, not because they desire to know or to obey the teaching of the Lord Jesus, but because they wish to lower the authority of the teaching of God by Paul, and to get rid of what they call Pauline theology, bring them face to face with the actual teaching of the Lord Jesus, and they will have none of it. They will turn back, they will walk no more with them, as it says in John 6:66. 6, or they will be filled with wrath and seek to do away with him, as in Luke 4, 28 and 29. In John 3, 6, we have the teaching of the Lord Jesus on a fundamental doctrine. It states an eternal truth. But it is the one truth which the natural man will not have. It declares that by nature we are descended from fallen Adam. We are begotten in his likeness as it says in Genesis 5.3, and are partakers of his fallen nature. Born of the flesh, we possess the nature of the begetter and our flesh. This flesh, the teaching of Jesus declares, profits nothing, according to John 6.63, and in it dwells no good thing, from Romans 7.18. But, as we have said, this is the teaching which man will not receive. Pulpit, platform, and press with one voice proclaim the opposite and declare that there is some good thing in man and that all we have to do is discover it and improve upon it. It is against this lie of the devil that the axe of divine truth is laid when the Lord Jesus declares that that which is born of the flesh is flesh, that the flesh profiteth nothing, and that in it dwelleth no good thing. If any good thing is to be found in man, it must be first put in by God. It must be born of the Spirit. And when that good thing is thus born and found in a man, then it is seen to partake of the nature of the begetter. It is Spirit. It is divine. Now these two natures are so opposite in their origin, in their nature, and in their character, that they each have several names and each name reveals some fresh trait and some additional truth. Let us first look at the names by which man by nature is spoken of, next in chapter 1.